Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a new palette. And uh, when I place an order with Alter Ego, I usually go ahead and um, place a big order. And um, because what they usually do, or at least what I found out, or at least what they have been doing, they may not do this in the future, is that they've been releasing a couple of palettes at a time, so it's easier just to go ahead and make one order than it is to go ahead and make a couple of orders. And so that's kind of what I've been doing with Alter Ego. Uh, today we're playing with Dreamscape, and yes, I am matchy-matchy all over. I tried to do one of a glowy, glowy, glowy look, so so we're going for the glow today and I'll show you how I did it and we'll get started right now. So I went ahead and started with the Super Goop uh, Glow Oil with the SPF 50 in it and um, I've had my bottle now for almost a year and I have a feeling that I'm going to be replacing it right at a year. So if you were wondering if these are any good, I like them. Um, I'm older now. I have normal to oily skin. When I was younger, I definitely could not have used a, a product like this, but today I can go ahead and use a product like this. I really enjoy it. I really thought that I got a lot of good use out of it. As far as my foundation, I have the About Face and uh, the Performer on. I have mine in F2, which is a cool shade. And I still say that this um, formula kind of, with the cool shades, they're going kind of peachy. And I'm not minding it. I actually kind of like it. And then I did go ahead and use L'Oreal True Match in the LM shade. I think it's LM1 but it only says LM on here. So that's what I have on for my base today. And then as far as what I went ahead and did for the bronzer, um, I picked up the NYX, the Buttermilk bronzers. I got two shades. Today I used All Butter, all butter Up. Yeah, no, all, yeah, All Butter Up. And so this is the way that the bronzer looks. Really pretty. This one has like I said, I got a couple of different shades. This one has a little bit of red in it. The lightest shade, well, here. Um, so here's a swatch of this one. And again, a little bit of red. This is the second to lightest shade. The lightest shade actually goes really peachy on me. And this one has a little bit of red. I'm going to go ahead and pick up another one. Um, I really like the formula. It has a little bit of glow but it doesn't have a lot of glow on it. And um, I've liked both of the shades that I've gotten, and I want to get a shade that has a little bit more uh, purple-pink kind of base to it. So that's what I'm going to be doing next time I'm out and about. Um, as far as what I used for blush, um, I did go ahead and I went into store. I picked up the Rare Beauty, the new blushes that they have. And this is a combination of blush and highlight. And so I have that on today. And um, I actually did go ahead and mix it. And I mixed it with yeah, one of the e.l.f. ones, one of the e.l.f. liquid ones in mauve. And right now mine seems to have walked off. So I don't have it in front of me, but um, so I mixed uh, Truth uh, by Rare Beauty and the Mauve by Elf. And uh, the Mauve is the liquid blush. And like I said, it has walked off. I can't find it right now, but as far as going ahead and using these blushes, I'm really liking these blushes. I'm not finding them to be very metallic at all. Um, I'm finding them to be very glowy and not necessarily very metallic. Um, but this is a Morphe brush, and I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more in here. So they are kind of scary when they go onto your cheek because there's a lot of pigment. And so, yeah. Um, just find that going ahead and blending will help out with that. Go ahead and put a little bit more on here. Oh, there we go. There's what they look like when 
yeah, they're at full intensity. Um, I had actually gone ahead and put some highlighter on and also some finishing powder and some Make It Dewy from Milani as far as my spray. So yeah, I had taken down the pigment quite a lot and that's, um, yeah, building the pigment back up. So uh, that's the way that that works. And yes, they are very, very pigmented, but they're more glowy instead of metallic kind of pigmented. And then as far as what I used on the lips today, I used a combination of the Just Peachy, and this is by the, it's Buttery Blur is the name of the line. It's from AOA. You can get it on the Miss A website. AOA was the first dollar makeup company. And I did go ahead and put Sunkissed over the top of this. Here it is. Everything's walking away today. So Sunkissed is by Hard Candy. It's a plumping lip gloss. And then I had the Peachy by AOA. So that's the way that that looked. And what I really liked was the pet. <laughs> like I said, I'm matchy-matchy today. And my lipstick matches one of my eyeshadow colors. So, yeah, if you can go matchy-matchy, you might as well go matchy-matchy all the way, right? So, uh, Beauty Pie and this, their Triple Glow Powder. And uh, so this is what I have on there. And then I did go ahead and pick up the Dreamscape by Alter Ego. And as you can see, I'm all matchy, matchy all over everywhere today. I really enjoyed it, too. I don't usually do this matchy, matchy. I mean, I'm always, I always tend to color coordinate. That's just the way I like to do stuff. But, yeah. So, um, okay. Starting off with the palette, I have this color over on the outer corner here. And then um, I have uh, this color on the inner part of the lid. And um, I have this color on as my eyeliner underneath and on top of the eye there. I did go ahead and use the yellow as well. And I put that right in this middle area right here. Um, Actually, on the lid, I have a combination of these two shades. This shade, uh, it works. It just isn't as vibrant as I was hoping it was going to be. So I actually mix these two together. And um, I will, uh, let's see, show you how that look looks and then come back with some swatches here. So that's how the eye look came out. And I did go ahead and use the Essence Mascara. And so this is the 18 hour wear. It's one of their tubey mascaras. And this is the curl one, so it'll curl your lashes. And again, I did go ahead and use the Essence uh, Thick and Wow as well as far as going ahead and doing the eyebrows. And I will be back in one moment with swatches for you. I is sewn back and I got some swatches here. Again, this is a pastel palette, and this is actually one that's based on uh, one of the Natasha Denona. I think uh, that it's based on Circus or Loco. I'm not sure which Natasha um, Denona palette this is based on, but again, it's all pastels. And if you want to make pastels pop, you can do what I didn't do today, which is go ahead and use a completely white eyeshadow cream base, and it will go ahead and make the pastels pop a little bit more, because since they're lighter, they don't show up as much, especially not on camera. Um, or with, uh, yeah, with uh, some of my concealers, they're so light that it's almost like putting a cream white eyeshadow on base on there. So I never really think that I need to use a cream white eyeshadow base, but it may actually make these pop a little bit more than they do. And actually for pastels, I think that this palette turned out really well. Um, again, they just don't, they don't pop as much as um, a medium, 
you know, a medium tone or a darker tone will pop. But uh, again, I think the palette is absolutely gorgeous, and I'm glad that I picked it up. I wasn't planning on getting some pastel palettes, um, but they seem to be really popular this summer or this spring, probably this spring into summer, and I don't mind having them at all. So um, again, the looks may look a little bit lighter but that's being on camera they are going to look a little bit lighter um in person i actually have a lot of color on my face right now uh, but again you know the lights and everything just sort of wash everything out so um definitely a good palette i would definitely go ahead and pick it up uh alter ego's formula is really good pastels work a little bit differently and um yeah I think it's a fun palette, and I'm just loving having all these colors on my eyes at this point. So um, I hope that you're having a good day, and I'll be back uh, with some actual reviews instead of first impressions on these. And I hope that you have a great day. Bye.